In this video, I'm going to show you how I go about painting faces. I'm not really going for a realistic look, but I still want to give the impression that it's 3D. I've already drawn the face out that I'm going to paint on cold pressed watercolour paper. Before starting, you might find it helpful just to do a rough sketch of where the shadow shapes are going to be. To do this, I like to think of where the main light is coming from to help me judge where to put them. But you don't have to worry about it being too accurate with this style of work, as you can make up your own style of lighting. I do all my black work first. I'm going to dilute some black Indian ink with some water so it's weaker and becomes a grey tone. I am then going to apply this to where I'm going to put shadows later using a darker grey or black. I tend to work wet. By this I mean I wet the area slightly where I'm going to paint first. This helps me blend out areas to white easier and helps the ink move around on the paper. I'm using this almost as a guide that I'm going to build upon later. Don't worry too much about this stage being super neat as you most likely won't be able to see it once you've finished. If you find you've made a mistake, you can use a paper towel to dab up any excess ink before it dries. Once I've got a rough layout of where the shadows are, I begin to darken them. You can do this either by building layers of grey or just using black. I like using grey to make subtle tones and black where I want there to be dark shadows. I keep working around the face and building different layers of grey till I'm happy with the look. Once I'm happy with the amount of black I've done, I begin to add colour. I almost always work wet when adding colour. Start in the dark areas and use water to graduate the ink out into the lights. Continuing to do this and building layers will help you get really smooth gradations from dark to light. I'm using Dr. PH Martin's Saddle Brown as my skin tone. I'm using the water on my brush to really help push the ink around on the paper. I enjoy using Saddle Brown as a skin colour because you get some really nice red and brown tones when using it. Depending on the thickness of your watercolour paper, you may find that you have to let the paper dry in between building layers, otherwise it begins to buckle. Once I'm happy with the skin tone I've got from using Saddle Brown, I'm just going to use a little bit of mahogany to add a subtle redness to the cheek and underneath the eye. To help tie the piece together, I'm going to use the same colour on the lips as I have in the rose.
When I've finished with colour, I do any details such as white highlights and any small bits that might need defining or touching up. I'm using a white gel pen to add highlights. Don't be scared to try out new things and see what works for you. You don't need to use the same colours I used. And remember you can always mix your inks to help to get a colour that you want. I hope this video will give you a better understanding of how I go about painting faces and you can learn something from it. Let me know in the comments how you get on and what colour combos you like using.